to tech brothers with Dhamma today we are going to answer this question there are so many files in our folders we want to save the file name file created date and size of each file in other table which task or a set of tasks we can use to perform this one so if I go to SSDT or bids what I see here with the name file system task is a task that we can see that has file uh, in in the name so that might help let's take a look so inside the file system task what we see here we have different operations we have copy name uh, create directory uh, delete directory move directory and all different operations but we do not see uh, file size uh, file uh, created date and all those properties uh, we can read by using this uh, file system task so what we have to do our options are very limited here when uh, we cannot do the things uh, uh, with the built-in task uh, we have to use uh, the script task so with the script task uh, we can read uh, that information uh, for the file such as file created date file size and the uh, file name uh, from the folder so we will be using um, system.io namespace uh, and uh, we will be using different functions uh, to read uh, these properties of the file and then uh, same uh, in the, in, the, in the same task uh, in the script task uh, we will be writing the data from the uh, uh, from these uh, of, of properties uh, or uh, uh, we will be writing uh, the, these, this data directly to the SQL Server table inside the script task that we can do it. Uh, I have a post uh, that shows you step by step how to do it uh, and if you want to take a look you can go ahead and uh, explore it you click here right in front of uh, on the top of it and uh, you will see the post uh, and uh, that will walk you through step by step uh, how to do it this is a post uh, and uh, I wrote in uh, 2011 um, and uh, that's where you, I created a table with the um, name called DBO file information you have file name file created date and file size uh, and then you use uh, uh, this uh, script uh, to read this information and put into the uh, SQL server table so you can take a look thanks very much for watching this video and I will see you in next video